Welcome back to the channel. And today we're obviously gonna be going over my February TBR. I am a little bit late to the party. Um, I'm recording this and hopefully putting it out on February 10th. Um, but to be honest, I didn't do too much reading in the first 10 days of the month. Uh, if you watched my last video, you'll, you'll know um, I was on vacation for the first week of February um, and I didn't do much uh, reading on that vacation. Um, so life happens sometimes and I wasn't able to read quite as much as I was in January. Um, and to be honest, I think January may be my high water mark for, <laughs> for the whole year. Um, it just, sometimes those months come around where it's like, you've got enough, you've, I've, you've got more free time than usual. Um, and you're kind of, I was bitten by the reading bug um, fully. Um, especially after taking such a big, big break off from reading. So pretty much it was a combination of it's winter here in Michigan. So it gets dark super early. The weather, uh, obviously it snows a lot. So there's not a ton to do um, outside of pretty much read and stay inside. Um, but February, we have vacation. Uh, life is kind of picking back up again. Uh, but nevertheless, I still plan on doing quite a bit of reading. Maybe not just... Uh, quite as much as I did in January, um, because obviously I read 13 books in January, um, although that was boosted a bit by some novellas. Um, I think there were three novellas in there. So, all right, let's get into it. First things first, um, if you watch my January wrap up, which uh, if you haven't, go check that out. Uh, I talk about how I've been reading a ton of Dresden and I've been making some serious, serious progress. Well, February is the month where I will finally be uh, all caught up. I've been absolutely loving Dresden so far. Um, I do a lot of that reading in the Dresden Files um, and the audiobooks. Obviously, they're amazing. Uh, James Marsters, I think his name is, is the voice actor who does it, is absolutely wonderful. So if you are someone who does uh, appreciate a good audiobook, um, Dresden Files are definitely uh, a great choice for that. So uh, I've been listening to a lot of those books and just really powering through. Um, like I said, it's winter here in Michigan, so a lot of times I'll just throw on an audiobook, uh, do some chores around the house, and play frisbee with the dogs and all that good stuff. So um, that is where I'll start off in February. I've actually already finished, um, as I mentioned, it's the 10th of the month now, but I finished earlier this month uh, Peace Talks which is number 16 in the Dresden Files. And then I am about halfway through, a little less than halfway through um, Battleground, uh, which is obviously number 17. And then I will be all caught up and I'm already like, uh, did a quick Google search um, uh, just to see, I'm like, has Jim Butcher put out uh, any like ETA as, the one, as to when the next book uh, will come out because obviously I started reading it in let's see it was either the end of 2019 or maybe the start of 2020 um, but obviously I I wasn't concerned with Jim Butcher's writing schedule at all back then because I had one uh, I had 17 books ahead of me um, and I actually read uh, Jim Butcher's Codex Alera back in college or just after college um, which I really enjoyed Codex Alera. So if you are a Jim Butcher fan with the Dresden Files, I think you will like Codex Alera. Um, it's just a really cool like elemental based magic system that I loved and appreciated. Um, but anyways, that's enough Jim Butcher. Um, I will be all caught up. I think I will do a non-spoiler series review at some point this month. Um, and then I can't decide, I talked about this a little bit in the wrap up, January wrap up video, but um, we'll have to see. I might do a tier list for my thoughts on the 17 books. Um, my only problem is I've read books 9 through 17 recently, and then books 1 through 8 um, were at the beginning of last year and even prior to that. So they're not as fresh in my mind, especially I found that like books 4 through about 10 were somewhat unmemorable. <laughs> uh, they just, that's not really a criticism. It's just they tend to blend together and it was more, it felt more like um, Butcher was using more of a template. Um, so I just found that there weren't as many major, major um, like overarching storyline impacts in those books anyways. 
Uh, there obviously is, but they're just not as fresh in my mind. And they don't stick out quite as much, so I don't think a tier list video would really do it justice. Um, but who knows, it might be one of those things where I sit down to record it, see how it goes, and if a good video comes out of it, then I'll post it. If not, no big deal. So yeah, first two books, uh, Dresden Files, finishing up that series, super happy about that. Next book is uh, Reaper Man, which I actually started to read a little bit last month. I was just more using it as I did so much reading uh, last month. I just needed a little bit of a refresher, and Terry Pratchett is definitely my go-to. Um, Dresden Files usually is my go-to, but, <laughs> but I actually needed a little bit of a break from Dresden Files uh, because I started to really just read those back to back to back to back. Um, so I wasn't, uh, Dresden Files have been my palate cleanser for so long, I needed a, a Discworld palate cleanser to, uh, to kind of buffer that. Um, really enjoying it. I'll probably, I'll definitely finish this pretty soon. Um, I have about 50 pages in, and uh, if you haven't heard me talk about Discworld, um, I would just go go check it out. They're extremely fun and funny books. Uh, Terry Pratchett's humor is uh, incredibly witty, and it's just just really refreshing. Um, you know, it it makes reading fun. It's like if you enjoy Discworld, you love Discworld. Is what I've is how I feel about it. So. Uh, excited to wrap up that. It's, this is actually only the the only Discworld I've read is Small Gods and Mort. So this is the third one. Um, but I've loved every second of that series. Um, so yeah, that'll be a good kind of starting off the month with uh, three rather quick books. Um, and then I want to get back to Malazan. I say get back. Um, I am obviously, if you're paying attention to my other videos, um, I'm obviously reading Gardens of the Moon as well this month, um, but just going very slowly, taking my time, uh, which I've been thoroughly enjoying. So I've actually, this book pretty much goes wherever I go. <laughs> um, and whenever I want to make a little bit of progress, um, I just read some of this. And I'm doing it part by part, which I really enjoy, because especially my first time through uh, the series, um, I didn't necessarily take my time. I was so uh, uh, captivated by the series as a whole. It was a lot of reading, you know, a thousand page book in three days type reading. Um, so I've been really, really enjoying the slower pace and just really trying to take everything in, jotting notes down, uh, which is not, I'm not normally a note taker when I read. Um, so I don't even know if I will finish Gardens of the Moon this month. Um, so I'm not gonna put it on my TBR, it's just kind of something, not in the background because it is kind of my focus, but um, like I said, just chipping away at it, making uh, slow and steady progress to make sure that um, I have, the entire time I'm reading it, I have an eye for detail. Um, whereas obviously if I'm reading, you know, a good chunk of a book at a time, I'm kind of just enjoying the story. <laughs> not that I'm not enjoying Garden of the Moon, but uh, just different type of reading, if you will. So I'm going to get back to uh, Esselmont's uh, mo novels of the Malzahn uh, Empire. Um, I did enjoy uh, Night of Knives, so um, and especially reading Gardens of the Moon, I'm excited to take a closer look at the Crimson Guard um, and Caledon Brood. So super excited for that one. Uh, that should be my fourth book. And then this is a book I've purchased, I think, a year and a half ago. Um, it's obviously made its way around booktube uh, once or twice, uh, and I'm a little bit late to this party. What actually gave me the final push to um, you know, put this firmly on my TBR, as it has been a book that I've kept on pushing back and pushing back, was Andy Smith, um, who if you ch haven't checked out his channel, go do so, I'll link it below. Um, but um, he gave a glowing review about Jade War, and put in the comments like, if you haven't, if you haven't read this book, it is worth the hype. So I'm gonna see for myself: is this book worth the hype? Because this is definitely one of the most hyped up books on BookTube. So it has some high, high heights that it needs to reach, um, and I, I very well could be setting myself up with disappointment. It's always better to go in with a little bit lower expectations, but it's kind of impossible to do that with Jade City. Um, and I think I even called it Jade War earlier, which I think is the second or third book in that series. Um, but yeah, excited to pick up that one. 
this was a book and I'm now I'm getting to the point of the TBR where this may be unrealistic, especially since we're so far into February um, already, which is a shortened month to begin with. Um, but this was a book on my January TBR that I didn't get around to. Um, and it's kind of, I'm excited to read it, but it just seems to be one of those books that is a, li a little bit lower on my pro priority list. Um, obviously I don't feel pressure to get to it or anything. Um, but it's, it's there. If I manage to, to get through the, the other books, um, I will definitely try and, uh, knock this one out. Obviously, if you don't know, um, that's Wrath of Gods, which is the second installment in the Paternus trilogy, um, which I loved the first installment, um, which the name escapes me right now what the first book was called, but it might have just been called Paternus now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's like a, got a great and unique uh, magic system and just uh, world history, a lot of mythology um, origins are in here uh interwoven in there and i'm a sucker for any sort of mythology um so yeah definitely excited to get around to this one if i do um and then the final book that i'm hoping to read and this is definitely pushing it at this point um but if i can get to it i would absolutely love how february went and that is fires of vengeance uh by evan winter um i absolutely loved uh the first installment in this series uh this is obviously his second installment um, and yeah, just incredibly fast paced, action packed books. Um, well, the first one was anyways, and I, from everything I've heard, Fires of Vengeance is the same, if not even more of that. So, um, looking forward to reading this one. It, like I said, these two definitely may spill over into March. Um, Jade City might even, uh, spill over into March, depending on how the month goes. Um, because like I said, the first 10 days of the month. Um, I was pretty much preoccupied doing other things and couldn't read that much, but nevertheless, I'm looking forward to it. Um, really, really excited actually to get to return um, of the Crimson Guard. Um, now that I'm a little bit away from, um, last month we obviously had Night of Knives. I started off Gardens of the Moon um, and then the, the God is Not Willing. I absolutely loved the Malazan content in January. And now I'm a little bit far enough away from The God Is Not Willing and Night of Knives, which I finished. Those were some of the first few books that I finished in January um, that I'm really itching to get back into some fresh, at least fresh to me, new uh, Malazan content in Return of the Crimson Guard. So yeah, um, if you guys uh, are enjoying the videos, please do like and subscribe um, and let me know down below in the comments uh, what your TBR is looking for um, and let me know maybe uh, what your favorite book in January was. For those of you who are here for the Malzahn reread, uh, do not worry, I'm about 20 pages, I have 20 pages left in the third part of Gardens of the Moon, so I should have that video out uh, any day now. So I will catch you guys in the next one.